Hello, my wonderful friend. Today's video is on seven signs she wants you to ask her out. These are crazy signs she wants you to make a move like right now. There's nothing more exciting than seeing somebody super cute and wanting to go out with her and discovering that she totally wants to go out with you too. And on the flip side, there's nothing more agonizing and awkward feeling than really wanting to get to know her better, wanting to go out with her and having no idea how she feels. The last thing you wanna do is put yourself out there and get rejected and feel embarrassed and hurt. That's why understanding these simple signs that she wants you to ask her out is so life changing. And the beautiful part about this is this has nothing to do with mind games. It's not like women do these things because they're trying to play tricks on you or they're like, hey, stupid, let's see if you can pick up on these signs. No, only toxic women do that, okay? Instead, these are things women just naturally do when they're trying to figure out if you're interested in them as well. Because just like you kind of have to figure out if she likes you, she kind of has to figure out if you like her as well. So these are just things she naturally does. And the men who know these signs and are able to pick up on them are the men who are able to relax a lot more and be incredibly successful in dating and relationships. Sounds like some pretty exciting things to know, right? So make sure you stay with me until the end of this video. As we dive in, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. My name is Melanie. I'm a Christian dating coach for men and creator of Attracting Lasting Love Academy. I'm your go-to source to learn how to find the cute love of your life and make her fall so in love with you that you never have to spend another night without her. So make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, and if you would like to learn more about working with me, all of that is done through my online academy. And you'll learn more about that at coachmelanie.com slash masterclass. As we get started with this, there are two other videos I'm also going to share with you. If you haven't yet seen this video on 13 signs, she is just waiting for you to make a move. It's life changing. You need to see it. And if you have not yet seen this video on signs she likes you but is afraid of rejection, I will put links to both of those videos in the description below. Understanding how to read female body language is literally life changing and helps you excel in love. So make sure you give those a watch as well. With that, let's get started with our first sign she wants you to ask her out. Sign number one is that she will ask you what your plans are. This can be, let's say, uh, the weekend's coming up. Oh, hey, so what are your plans for the weekend? Or maybe you work together or something. So what are your plans tonight? What are you doing? Now, yes, asking this can be just common courtesy. However, if you notice it happens frequently, it's often because she's kind of hoping, you know, your plans can be together like really bad, she's, she's really hoping that. So pay attention, if she just asks it once or twice when there's a lull in the conversation, that's just being polite. But if this is something she asks frequently, then that's a really good sign that, yeah, she wants you to ask her out. My second sign she wants you to ask her out is that she hints that she's single or mentions that she's single. You obviously want to be careful with this. <laughs> you don't want to go out or talk to, a, go out with or talk to a gal who's just like always, oh, I'm single, <laughs> like and needy and awkward and weird about it. However, if she just kind of slips it into the conversation or hints about it here and there, it's because she wants you to know she's single. <laughs> she wants you to know she is not in a relationship. And so if you want to ask her out, she's totally available. So pay attention to those little uh, times where she'll just slip into the conversation that she's not seeing anyone. That's a key sign that she's, she's letting you know, yes, asking me out. My third sign she wants you to ask her out is that she hints that she's not busy or she'll just slip that into the conversation. So our first sign was that she'll ask you uh, what your plans are. Now, if she mentions maybe in that same conversation, maybe in a completely different conversation, that she's not busy. Oh man, I just wish I had something fun to do this weekend. Or I don't really have anything to do this weekend. It'd be nice to do something fun. Something like that. 
That's her way of saying, so I'm not doing anything. So if you would like to do something with me, I'm totally available. Here's the deal. Men and women pursue differently. Men and women definitely pursue each other. Women 100% pursue a man they're interested in, but she's going to do it in a feminine way because she needs you to pursue her in a masculine way. That's just how it works. So her way of pursuing you is letting you know, is inviting you to pursue her. It's letting you know, yes, I will definitely say yes if you will pursue me. And this is one of the ways she'll do that is by kind of hinting around that I don't have anything to do. So if you want to do something, we should totally do it. If she didn't want to go out with you, she would not leave the door open like that. No, I've got something going on. It doesn't matter if she has to make up something going on she was going to have something going on just because it's less awkward than leading you on. So if she's letting you know, yeah, I don't have anything, it's a, it's a really good sign. Here's the crazy thing. Once you're aware of these signs, they are so much easier to pick up on. All of a sudden you're like, holy cow, I had no idea that was a sign and your whole life changes. It's insanely exciting. A word of caution though. Just seeing the signs alone is fabulous. However, if you don't understand how to nurture that attraction and how to ask her out in a way that gets her excited and even more attracted to you, if you don't understand the correct way to do that and then how to act on the date, that's where things go terribly wrong. If you've ever been in that situation where you're like, holy cow, she was super interested. I totally saw, saw the signs that she liked me. And then it just like fell apart and I have no idea why. This is why that happens. That's why one of the many, some of the many things I walk you through in my academy are how to ask her out to get that yes and how to act on the date and how to really like take that spark of attraction and turn it into a roaring fire. Just knowing that she's interested alone is a good start, but unless you understand how to turn that attraction into crazy in love with you, you're always going to run into dead end relationships. That just makes sense, doesn't it? By the way, I have so many of you asking me right now about my academy, what it is and how you learn more about it. Attracting Lasting Love Academy is the only online training of its kind that shows you exactly how to go from wondering why you're single no matter how hard you try and wondering if maybe you'll ever find the love of your life to holding her close and feeling her soft, tender touch every single day. I share with you the five critical secrets to make a woman fall so in love with you that you get to keep her love forever. Hundreds of men have already been through the academy and honestly, the results are so remarkable. I get so excited to talk about it every single time because I know how transformative it is. And frankly, you deserve success in love and I'm 100% confident I can help you get it because it's been done over and over and over again. That's how exciting these strategies are. Now to learn more about this masterclass, what you'll learn, how to get started, I have you watch my free masterclass. The reason I have you do that is I want you to feel 100% confident that this is the solution you're looking for. I want you to know what the strategies are so you feel completely comfortable when you dive in. So to learn more about this, if you're serious about finding the cute love of your life and turning her head and making her say yes, that's the man I want to marry. You need to discover these life-changing secrets I'll share with you and help you master in my academy. So to learn more, go to coachmelanie.com slash masterclass. I will put a link in the description below and a link in the pinned comment. I have seen it transform the lives of so many men who thought that maybe they didn't stand a remote chance at finding the love of their life. And you know what? They did, and I'm confident it will help you do the same. Don't waste any more time waiting. Do it now. Open this link in a new tab so that it's ready as soon as you're done with this video. With that, let's talk about our fourth sign. She wants you to ask her out. This sign is that she talks about places she would like to go a lot. Um, maybe there's like a restaurant or a movie or whatever it is. If she's, oh, that would be so fun. 
I'd really like to do that. Maybe, maybe that'd be something fun to do this weekend. Again, she's inviting you. She's leaving that door open for you to come and say, oh, hey, that'd be fun to do together. Do you want to do it this weekend or whatever it is? She's trying to let you know, if you were to ask me to do this, I would say yes. That's her way of showing you she's interested in you and she's really, really hoping that you're going to be interested in her as well. Remember, if you don't pursue her, if you don't act when you see these signs, that's rejection because she's expressing her interest in you. She's expressing with all these signs, not just this sign, that she likes you and she wants to spend time with you. And when you don't act on that, it is crushing. <laughs> like it hurts really bad. You know what rejection feels like, right? It's awful. And when that happens, you rarely get another chance. She's so hurt. She's so embarrassed. She's done. She thinks you're not interested. And so she moves on. That's why, again, maybe you can see signs a woman's interested and then have her totally pull away. She feels that rejection very acutely. And that's why it's critical to pursue her the correct way. And again, don't worry about that. That is something I help you completely master. It's one of my favorite things to share with you in my academy. So you don't need to sweat about that. You're only sweating about it because you don't know the most effective way. I'm going to reveal all that to you in my academy. And you'll learn again more about that in that free masterclass. This leads us to sign number five. And this sign is that maybe while she's talking about those places she'd like to go, she says something like, yeah, we should totally go sometime. If she talks about the two of you and the two of you should do things, that that's huge. Like that's one of the more bold ways for her to say, so ask me out so we can go do that. So if you're talking about a restaurant or you're talking about a movie or a concert or whatever it is, oh yeah, the two, we should totally do that sometime. That would be super fun. Yeah, take the hint. <laughs> she wants you to ask her out. Quick question before we get to the last of our signs she wants you to ask her out. Are you enjoying this video? I don't think I've ever done a video on signs she wants you to ask her out. Should I possibly make more? If I should, comment asking to let me know. That feedback really does help. Seriously, I really appreciate it. Not only that, every time you leave a comment, it tells the YouTube algorithm, hey, people like these videos. I should show them to more people. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I cannot go a video without saying a huge, huge thank you to those of you who are so generous with your super thanks. It really does mean a lot to me. I put so much more work into these videos than anybody will ever know. And the fact that you are so supportive really just means so much to me. So thank you a million times. And whether you have ever used the super thanks or not, if you are enjoying this video, if it is helping you and you would like to use the super thanks, it would would mean so much to me. So thank you a million times. All right. Are you ready for our next sign? She wants you to ask her out. This sign is that she looks for ways to be alone with you, to have those one-on-one -on -one moments, those one-on-one -on -one conversations. Now, obviously not in like a creepy or a weird way. If that starts happening, you should run. <laughs> but if she's looking, it's normal when we are attracted to someone, when we want to get to know them better, to look for those opportunities to talk with them one-on-one -on -one, rather than in a group setting or casually from across the room. You want those one-on-one -on -one type of conversations. So if you notice, she kind of seems to want to just spend time with just you or have conversations with just you. That's a huge sign. <laughs> like that's, that's a big deal. Think about it. She wants to spend time with just you. So it's the perfect time to ask her out. And this leads us to our next sign she wants you to ask her out. And that is, this sign is that she volunteers to do things with you. Let's say maybe you work together or maybe you go to church together or you serve somewhere together or w maybe you're at a party together and you're like, oh, hey, I gotta go get something from the car or something. Oh, I'll come with you. If she's volunteering to do these things with you, oh, hey, I gotta run to the store real fast and pick up a bag of chips. I don't know, <laughs> something like that. And she's like, hey, I'll come too. That's a huge sign. Again, this is, she wants to spend time one-on-one -on -one with you. She wants to spend time with you. And it's a clear sign that she wants you to ask her out. She'd like to get to know you better. So now that you know the signs she wants you to ask her out, my question for you is, how do you take this golden opportunity 
and make the most of it? How do you take this golden opportunity and completely melt her heart and make her go from, hmm, kind of interested in him to, holy cow, I think about him nonstop and I want to spend every moment with him. How do you do that? Well, my friend, this is something I help you completely master in Attracting Lasting Love Academy. So if you're serious about just winning her heart and having that sweet, tender woman to come home to every single day, these secrets are what you need to know. So to learn more, again, just go to coachmelanie.com slash masterclass. That's where you'll learn more about, about those strategies and how you can join me. I'll put a link in the description below and the link in the pinned comment. Let's recap the seven signs she wants you to ask her out. Sign number one is that she asks you what your plans are, seeing if you're available when you'd be able to do something. Number two is she hints that she's single, making sure that you know that she's available if you wanted to do something sometime. Number three, she hints or works into the conversation that she's not busy. Again, letting you know that she's available if you'd like to go out sometime. Number four, she talks about the places she would like to go or the things she would like to do, hoping that you'll say you should do it together. Number five, she says, hey, we should do that sometime or talks about the two of you going and doing these things. Number six, she looks for opportunities to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with you, to spend a little bit of alone time with you. And number seven, she volunteers to do things with you, whether it's in the next room or going to the store or whatever it is, if she volunteers to do something with you, to spend time with you, that's a key sign that she wants you to ask her out. She's looking for ways to get to know you better. Thank you, my amazing friend, for watching. Did you enjoy what you just saw? If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and ring that notification bell. I wanna hear from you in the comments. Did you enjoy this? Would you like more videos like this one? If you would, comment asking to let me know. And if you have any questions or comments, obviously leave those there as well. If you would share this with a friend, it would mean so much to me and I know it would help him too. If you don't yet follow me on social media, there are links in the description below. Make sure you especially follow me on Instagram because I share exclusive content in my stories there. Thank you so much again, my amazing friend, and have an amazing day. P.S. Don't forget to watch that masterclass. You have to give yourself every compliment you can. Life lesson there. I'm just full of life lessons all the time. Can't stop, won't stop. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but you know, it looks cool when some people do it. <laughs> I have a feeling that's not the effect I just got, but you know, it was worth a shot. Okay, let's get started. My third sign that she, wait, what? <laughs> It's kind of fun to see how fast you can do that. <laughs> you just tried it, didn't you? <laughs> it feels faster than it looks on my little screen. <laughs> That's okay. Never mind. Okay. The musician in me finds music everywhere I go. You know, when your uh, light is blinking, when you're like turning, and it's like, and then I like, want to sing along to it. <laughs> That's not weird, right? <laughs> anyway, okay, off topic. Okay, so I have a bad problem. This chair spins. I didn't used to film in this chair, and I'm probably not going to be able to film in it anymore because I just want to, you know, the ADD in me just wants to, like, spin the whole time. Maybe we should do a whole video like this. <laughs> that would be so weird. Okay, focus. <sighs> super focused. Super chic. Super chill. Can you tell? <laughs> Don't focus on the chair. It's so tempting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Secret end of the video club. See, I'm doing it again. I'm spinning. <laughs> okay. Secret end of the video club. Our word for this week, so that I know who watches to the end of the video, because I always love seeing your comments. We actually get two words today. I know, I know. I'm switching things up. I'm, pr I'm pretty speedy. Um, my, okay, so the words this week are Star Wars. Why are the words this week Star Wars? 
because I really like Star Wars and I haven't seen it in a million years and I've been thinking about it all day. <laughs> so that's our words for today. If you watch to the end of this video are Star Wars, leave it in the comments. All right. I think I'm done. I think I am done. I'm going to release my own album and it's going to be titled YouTube Awkwardness when you're dingy from filming too long. <laughs> Do you think anybody would buy it? Ha 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 ha!